welcome to this video. I made a video last year about my workaround for Dante on M1 Max. Later that year they updated that Dante Via, another bit of software, was working. I used this for a while, although it was good software, which I found a bit clunky uh, and difficult to use, I really wanted Virtual Soundcard back. Ordinate have recently updated that it does now work on M1 Max and I'm now using it happily. With that in mind, this is going to be a quick video demonstrating how I implement Dante audio over IP in a small project studio. Dante is a protocol by the company Ordinate and it allows multi channels of audio and video to be passed from Dante equipped devices to other devices and computers. For audio, the virtual sound card, a simple bit of software, not belittling the difficulty Ordinate may have had in implementing it and testing it on the new M1 platform, allows the network to appear as a sound card in your audio software. The real benefit to me in Dante, apart from the easy setup and high quality, is the ease of configurability. I have an 8 channel Neve unit which connects via Ethernet cable to a normal Ethernet switch in my small rack. This is my small rack which has a couple of mic preamps, a compressor and also the switch behind it. Here is the rear of my rack and I've got a Netgear FS116P uh, switch which also has um, eight channels of power over ethernet for smaller ordinate units which allows me to connect all of my uh, systems. My inputs are actually connected to small Ordinate um, adapters, which you can see here, Avio, and they allow easy connectivity. This is the virtual sound card software, and the key settings are in the settings page, where you can adjust the number of tracks, the latency, and start the software. You can use it easily in your software. Here is an example using Logic. You can go to Preferences and Audio and it appears as a normal sound card which you just select for both input and output and then accept that and uh, use the uh, sound card as normal. My favourite aspect of Dante is the connectivity in Dante Controller. Here you can see the expanded view. Dante Controller is a free piece of software. Ordinate do charge for the virtual sound card, but for memory it's only 50 to 60 UK pounds. I'm not sure what that is in euros or dollars, which is not massively expensive. In Controller, I can send any signal anywhere and to multiple locations. Across the top is the transmitters. That is, any device sending an audio signal out into the system. On the side is the receivers, anything receiving a signal from the system. To route, you just click on the bisection of the two. For example, I send output 1 and 2 from my DAW Mac Pro to the small unit serving my monitors and the headphone mix I've set up normally goes to the two-channel Neve 1073 input. However, if I want to output channel 1 and 2 to go to the Neve as well, I just click it. Similarly, if I want the signals from the preamps in the rack, that's the MIDAS and the SSL, to go to the main monitors, I can just send it there. This negates the need for a patch bay, as I can send anything, anywhere. This is awesome. That's the main configurability, and I'm loving it. Dante hardware is on the pricey side, but there are some small adapters which are cheaper, such as the Nutrick NA2-IO-D line, which is a two-in, two-out line level interface. That's all I've got to say. I hope you found it interesting. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.